In the previous lesson, we learned about the use effect hook, which is a hook in React that allows us to manage side effects. And we got to learn the syntax of the use effect hook, where you have your function, which runs the side effect, and you have your dependencies. And when you don't have any dependency, it means this function is going to run only on mount. But when you have a dependency here, it means that whenever this dependency changes, then this function is also going to run. And then I mentioned something in that lesson, that when it comes to dependencies, you want to be careful when using objects and in this lesson i'm going to explain why you need to be careful when using objects as dependencies so here we have random color as a dependency and random color is a string by default random color holds the first item in our colors array which is this and when you click on this button we get another random color and we set random color and random color is still a string but what is the problem with having objects as dependencies for this example let's go back and uncomment our application now let's go to the pricing card component in the pricing cards component here we keep a state for random cards and random cards is an array which is of the object type so now i'm going to comment all of this which we had from previous lessons now let's say we had the use effect here and for our function we're not going to do much we're just going to say console log use effect and now for our dependency we want to set it as random cards. Remember, random cards is an array, which is of the object type. Now, by setting this as a dependency, it means that when this changes, then this function is going to run again. Now, if I open the console, you can see that this runs the first time. Now, when I click on this button, if you remember, clicking on this button is going to call randomized cards and randomized cards is going to update the random card states. Now, when I click on this button, you can see we get the use effect run again, which might be what you want so the more i click it as that dependency updates you can see we have this logged in the console but here is where things come interesting let's say that we update the random card state with the same array structure so here we do set random cards and then we just use the spread operator for the current random cards so basically we are updating with the same data now you would expect that since random cards has the same structure then this use effect should not run again but let's open the console and see if that's the case and the use effect runs the first time the component is mounted now when i click on this button which updates the state with the same data you can see we have this use effect again and i continue clicking on the button you can see that the cards do not change the cards stay the same because the array contains the same items but we have this use effect still running and this is happening this way because of the way that the use effect compares dependencies you probably already know this in javascript that two object this one has a property name with value decode property name value decode they have similar structures but they are not equal and the same thing applies to arrays you have still of the object type they are not still equal and this is because you are comparing the references and not exactly the object or array structure now i have a video where i dive deeper into how references works in javascript and why there's this object or these arrays are not the same I'll leave it to the video description for you to check it out. But because of the reference inequality here, the use effect is going to be running every time you update the random card state, even if the random card is actually the same data. Now, what do you do in this case? Let's say you want to depend on random cards somehow, but now you cannot use an array because things might be running multiple times when you don't want it to. Now, what you want to do is that you want to look into this random cards object or array and look for a property or or value that you can depend on now what does this mean for random cards now in the case of random cards what you can do here is that you can for example watch for the first item in this array now the first item in this array is an object if we go to app.jsx you see that our card is an array of objects so what you want to do here is you can watch for the first item in this array and then you can watch for the label property now if you come here you can see that the label property is a string it's a string here and also for the first item it's a string so now what your use effect is going to check for is that it will check if the first item has a different value for the label property that is the only time it's going to run this use effect if you just do it like this it's going to watch for the whole array and just like i explained with reference inequalities this use effect will keep running even when the structure of the array stays the same but by watching for a specific property that is a string a boolean that's a 
primitive value then this use effect can indeed run only when that primitive value changes and that is a more accurate way for you to run this use effect only when random cards changes because when the structure of random cards changes it means the first item in this array has a different value for the label property as a way to stay safe you can also watch for the second item so if the first item has a different label or the second item has a different label then that is kind of a guarantee that this random cards array has changed now if you should come here you can see use effect is locked the first time when the component is mounted but when i click this button you can see no matter how much i'm clicking this button because these labels have not changed the use effect doesn't run again but now if i should come back here and comment this part and run this part now which changes the array if i should refresh again you see we have use effect now when i click on this button because the random cards array changed and those labels at the first or the second item changed you can see we have use effect here again and the same thing happens so when it comes to the dependencies of your use effect you want to be using primitive values like your strings numbers booleans instead of using objects like your object or arrays because with object and arrays the use effect might be running multiple times when you don't want it to run that's because the references are different even when the structure of those arrays and objects are still the same thing now in this case you have an array if you had an object you can just do something like random cards dot property so since this is an object now you can check if the value of this property changes then this use effect runs so again when it comes to anything of the object data type which work with references when they are being compared then instead of adding this like this to your dependency you want to watch for a change in a specific value instead of watching for a change in the object or the array as a whole there is still a few more things we need to look at in use effect and that's what we're going to be looking at in next lesson